Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. I'm coming at you with some vinyl. Vinyl. Let's try that again. Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. I'm coming at you with some CD finds. But first, if you are not subscribed to Rod the Happy Hippie, please head on over to his channel right now. He is so close to 1,000 subscribers. Let's get Rod the Happy Hippie to 1,000 subscribers. Head on over there right now. I'm going to leave a link to his channel below. So let's get into the CD finds. Yeah, I still buy CDs. Yes, I know this is the vinyl community, but I don't care. Here we go. Carol King, Fantasy, one of her funkiest records. Really, really dig this one. Um, look at that beautiful CD. This is from 1973, the year before I was born. If you like Carol King, you should check this CD out. It's funky. How about some Tangerine Dream? What a kick-ass collection. Um, this is 1974 to 1978, the Virgin Years. You get one, two, three, four, five albums on here. Um, and I'm going to probably butcher these names. Phaedra, Rubicon, uh, Ricochet, Stratosphere, and Cyclone. Oh, okay. I didn't butcher as much as I thought I was going to do. I have the one that came out after this as well. These are great sets. As I said, you get all those albums and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really good price. Three CDs. And it also comes with a little booklet, too. Tangerine Dream. Very interesting band. I've been listening to them, and I'm like, what kind of music is this? And, and why do I like it so much? Because it's meandering. It's, it's blippy, and it's, uh, you know, pulsating, and it's rhythmic. And, but there's just something about Tangerine Dream that I like. Again, you can't put it on at a party. I was driving to it. I almost got into an accident because I think the music sort of hypnotizes you as you drive so i decided that i should only listen to tangerine dream at home with the lights out with a candle on and a diet soda 4.99 at barnes and noble brand new the johnny cash tv show the best of that show I mean, listen to who's on here. Roy Orbison, Waylon Jennings, Joni Mitchell, James Taylor, Derek and the Dominoes, Ray Charles, Bobby Bear, of course, Johnny Cash, George Jones, Chris Christopherson. And I mean, how cool is Johnny Cash? And all those people that are on that album, they were all on a show. I got the DVD of that as well. Very cool stuff. How about some Renaissance? A little 70s folk prog? This is their album, Scheherazade. If you don't know who Renaissance is, definitely check them out. Uh, as I said, you know, basically it's folk prog. Folk music meets progressive rock. It's sort of like Jethro Tull meets Yes. Um, very cool band. They've got quite a few albums. I feel like this is probably their best. So check them out. Already did a review on this. Digging it. Taylor Swift, Midnights. Uh, I didn't get all the CD versions of it. I just got one. I did a whole review on this if you want to check that out. But, uh, you know, hoping to see her, her on tour next year. I'm going to bring my daughter. Let's do some jazz. How about some McCoy Tyner? Spice it up a little bit, right? McCoy Tyner, Sama La Yuka. I don't know what that means, but I have a feeling if you translate it, it means kick-ass jazz. Check out McCoy Tyner. This is on the Milestone label. Ooh, 1974, the year I was born. Sama Layuka. Who else plays on here? Oh, look, a bunch of people I don't know. Actually, you know what? This, how do you pronounce his name? It's M-T-U-M-E. Is it Toomey? He plays the conga drums and percussion. I believe that he played on some Miles Davis stuff. And I also got McCoy Tyner Atlantis, which is a uh, live album. And who plays on this? Do I know anybody? No, I don't. But it's a good record. I got to thank JC. JC uh, showed me an album a few weeks ago. He's like, do you know this band? And they're an SST band. 
And I didn't know. I mean, that's how deep the SST catalog is. And it was the band Run, Westy Run. Um, and I happened to find one of their CDs, not the one he showed me. I believe that this is, um, actually, maybe this was the one he showed me. I don't know. But I found it on CD, uh, Run, Westy Run. And this actually, oh, now I know why. This has three extra tracks that the vinyl does not have. So pretty cool. That's what was uh, neat about this time, you know, maybe the late 80s, early 90s with uh, CDs. A lot of times they would put extra tracks on the CD that you couldn't get on the vinyl. And even by this time, they, they probably weren't even pressing some of the vinyl. Very cool band from the SST label. Uh, not top tier, but still pretty cool. And lastly, I, I did a review on this album as well. So check it out. Striper's new one. Uh, the Final Battle. Very, very heavy record. Striper still firing on all cylinders. And there you go. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I know I am. I'm going to listen to some Overkill. I'm thinking about... Well, I had... Um, I made pork chops tonight. And I put a little uh, curry seasoning on them. Uh, with some jasmine rice. And then I had some corn. Some corn kernels out of a can. Uh, and uh, tonight I'm going to be doing a video with some of my friends. So you should check it out. It's going to be on Jeff Witcher's channel. Oh yeah, don't forget, subscribe to Rod the Happy Hippie. Bye now.